Perfect. Michelle, Dylan, huh? thank you all for joining me today on Press Day. Thank Thanks you. for having us. How's your big day? I know you guys have been going through a lot of press today. Uh, any emotions going through with all this being the last season? Dylan's almost started crying a few times. A couple times. I think that's right. I wear my heart on my sleeve, bud, and I've come close to crying three times. <laughs> Andrew, was, Andrew was the same way in a previous interview we just had. He's there you go. See, <laughs> we're cut from the same cloth, Thursday and I. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, you know, uh, Letter Kenny, final season, finally here. Uh, you know, the fans have been watching it and everything. Uh, I watched it. Uh, it's a little sad, you know, 12 seasons we're talking about here. It's a little sad finally get to the end. What are you uh, What are you hoping for these Letter Kenny fans to get out of the final season? The diehard fans that are also sad. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope it um, ties up some loose ends nicely while also honoring – uh, the kind of classic letter Kenny humor that's just about fun and jokes and chirps. Yeah. I hope it, I, I think what's really cool about this season, what I love so much about it is um, there's a, a depth to it. in in a way it takes us on a bit more of an emotional journey, yeah. which um, I hope people appreciate because I really loved watching it. Um, it was still lots of fun and, and like the classic vibes always present, but there was a really cool storyline that meant a lot and I hope that people enjoy it. Yeah. I know Jared's very on the pulse of fan responses to seasons and episodes uh, as much as his internet presence may lead you to believe otherwise he listens to the fans. So uh, my wish would be that they loudly and proudly ask for more of something you know whether it's you know spinoffs or more specials or, or or what have you um i say that you know obviously selfishly because i love playing the character but i also you know watching and being a part of the final season this beautiful line of the grass is pretty green here in letter kenny uh i think that was a way of saying to the fans you know this isn't the end we've already seen it right like there have been expansions on the world of, of different characters with the success of Shorzy, um, with Little Kenny, with, with th this world that's beyond just the show itself and the merch and the beers and the liquor. I, I think there's an opportunity for this thing to keep evolving. And, and I think if, if fans uh, uh, voice their desire for that, uh, I know Jared listens and he's, he's a very good listener and a very good writer. So who knows what could happen? <laughs> Right. You mentioned a uh, journey. Now we have Katie and Riley. How would you describe their journeys, you know, starting, you know, in the earlier season into now? I think Katie um, was, she's always been tough. She always will be tough. That's who she is, but she was exceptionally tough and guarded near the beginning. Um, really didn't have a lot of uh, emotions that she expressed outwardly. I think it's been cool to watch her, uh, vulnerability show a little bit more she's kind of softened a little bit and um, she's still tough she still is who she is like I said but um, we've seen her go through a little bit of heartbreak that's kind of humanized her a little bit um, and it's been really nice to see her get back together with these the hockey boys who re regardless of what <laughs> you know she says or thinks or feels they hold a lot of space in her heart and um, and they always will it seems Dylan. Yeah, Katie Cat. I mean, geez, this this show is it's so cliche, but I keep saying that the cliches are that way for a reason. Like this family was built behind the scenes and the chemistry of what we were doing offset really bled on set. And, and I think that's why the show did so well was we all had so much fun while we were, you know, making the show and developing these characters that you see a lot of ourselves in, in, in the characters. So, um, you know, to the, the, the evolution, I'd call it probably full circle. I mean, one of the final scenes we had was reminiscent of one of the very first cold opens we did in season one, where, you know, Katie tells us to get out of here. And then in this cold open callback, she tells us to get in there and come eat breakfast. And I think that says a lot, right? It's like, as much as she wants these idiots to get out of her way, she loves them and they love her. And I think it was a really poetic way to have it go full circle. So full circle is how I would describe their relationship. Yeah. 
for um for 12 seasons you know you connect with these characters you become these characters you live with mm -hmm. them what are you going to miss about these characters now Oh, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss Katie's community. She has such a strong community with um everyone, like the Hicks first and foremost, but every one of the groups she has a connection to, and there's some respect there, even if they quarrel. Um, I think it's a lot of us in current day society, obviously it's like but on the nose, but like, of course, with social media and things, people are more connected than ever, but they're also more isolated than ever. And I think um, entering the world of Letter Kenny felt really cozy and kind of 90s in a weird way, where it was like, yeah. it was so community based and it was so in person based. And she has so many connections. And that's something that I think myself included, but we could all work on cultivating more. Um, just mm -hmm. makes your life. So I'm going to miss that. How about you, Dylan yeah. Riley? Yeah, I second. I mean, Riley was a super fun character to play because it was uh, a character that I, I kind of brought to the show with an understanding of, of how I thought these guys acted and, and what I thought was funny that worked within the, the confines of the show. It was my first character that didn't have a description. You know, there was no audition sides. Andrew and I came into it when it was YouTube and the only description we had was hockey player, full stop be funny mm. um so we developed these guys brought them to, to to jared and nate and never got notes on their motivations or, or whatnot so um you know ha having a character that's so personal to me i think really has influenced the jobs i've gotten since then it's like if if, if you know this person if you believe that what you're doing works you kind of take some questions off the page for your director and your producer and you're not going, Hey, is it working? You're like, right. this is what I got to offer. And I think it's good. And hopefully we see the world the same way. And that's why letter Kenny did so well. I think it was because everyone did see the world the same way and the senses of humor jived really well. So I'll definitely, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll miss that. And the, the crew, everyone love them. Uh, last question, two part. Favorite quote of your character? And did you take anything from the set to remember the show? Oh, man. Favorite quote. Um, I think when a friend asks for help, you help them. I love that. I think that's that's a meaningful one for me. Um, and then I did take some of my wardrobe. I obviously took the shorts. I took the Doc Martens. I took the Sun Dart get up, including the hat. So those are those are nicely tucked away. Um, in my closet. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Dylan? Yeah, I kept the uh, shades, a couple pairs of shades. The flip flops have been worn through to the to the pavement, so those <laughs> uh, those have been retired to the uh, the annals of history. Um, and I grew a little bit to so the shorts fit, but the flip flops are gone, and the shades are are on. <laughs> yeah. How about a Riley quote? We all snipe Sally, boys. <laughs> we all snipe Sally. It's a it's yeah. a motto to live by. You work hard, you get your goal, you celebrate, you move on. Hey, uh, Dylan and Michelle, I want to thank you uh, for giving a few minutes today on Press Day. This was great. Thank you right, so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.